Welcome back to the new media campaign, part number four. Hello and welcome to part four of the new media campaign. Unbelievably, we are still alive in this campaign. And I didn't think it was possible, but we are. We won a battle near Surta in episode three. Gisco is a legend and he's done the faction very proud indeed. Have a look at him, look at that lovely bandana. What a man, what a legend. Anyway, um, oh, he's a drinker, that's good. We might attack Surta and go for Carthage. That was suggested in the comments section in the previous part. Uh, Carthage course is there. Uh, then I might hold on to Carthage. That's good. that's the plan anyway. It might not work. In my campaign, Carthage actually still has these towns that are nearby just across the ocean. In other people's campaigns, they've had the Brutii and the Scipii come down and attack. So it varies from person to person, but this is what my campaign looks like. We're at the end turn phase of the last campaign. The reason why I'm saying that I might sack Surta is because there's not much of an army here. I could do with some money. My spy can actually go on ahead and have a look for me. And as we can see, we do, they do have some units. Oh shit, they have Viberian infantry. We don't have nothing. We have no money either. We do have one settlement left to Midi, which is relatively okay I suppose um, normal tax I could increase the tax but what's the point we're still at a debt we have bugger all in the media um, we do have oh we have a general I didn't even know we had a general who is devout plus one influence but we can't recruit because we got no money so we're basically screwed but he can just stay there and I suppose hold it if rebels come but you probably die so Unfortunately, if we lose the media, we lose the campaign. So that's why it's important. Maybe, maybe I should take Surta because if I do take Surta, at least I know then I might gain gain another turn, or maybe another part in this in this campaign. the The aim for me in this campaign really is to survive for as long as possible. If I can make it to week five, if I get to week five, try and make it to week six. Just keep going, and then eventually try to form some sort of empire. Try and get my economy going again because at the moment I'm just one settlement. I lost the town up here because of rebels and I eventually decided not to go for this because it wasn't even worth it. It's, it's barely barely a village I suppose so yeah that's my that was my fault earlier in the campaign. I made a few mistakes earlier on. I, I did better in the last part. I, I kind of made sense of things a bit more and got used to it. The, the game like I mentioned previously has taken me quite a while to get used to again. It's been, been nearly two years since I last played. But anyway, I'm enjoying this campaign and hopefully we can do well. So I'm going to click the end turn button and we'll see what happens. And we have a battle. Gisco, the legend. Where the hell are we? Oh, here. oh, there we are. Okay, so another battle. 273 men against 376. Let's go. This could be the last battle in the campaign. If it is, let's make it a good one. Of course, if I lose this battle, I'm pretty much screwed anyway, so... It could be a bit premature. But it's all good. I do hope that Total War Network and Biscuits do decide to uh, do more challenges for the other campaigns in Total War. So I'm thinking like Rome, Total War. Let's group these together. I have to see. I don't know where they are. Oh, we've got a hill by here we can work with, I think. Let's get the hill advantage going then. Let's go and start up here. I'm doing this because we get a downward attack with the cavalry uh, let's get them grouped together yeah I do hope they do some more campaigns challenge campaigns in total war maybe Shogun 2 maybe Rome 2 uh, probably in my elements with Shogun 2 quite good at Shogun 2 well I say quite good I'm better at Shogun 2 than I am at Rome total war and of course they're down there they've attacked me so they gotta come to me so I'm going to let them do all the walking and tire them out. I'm going to actually turn my men around though. I'm trying to get used to all the hotkeys again. Javelin, I don't want them to be too far away from my infantry. And grab them with the one key and move them to the left flank. And that's quite a good formation, I think. Centrally, quite weak, but we got cavalry either flank. I can use to charge in. Let's have a quick little gander at what's over here. So they have cavalry, swordsman by the looks of it. 
this could be quite a oh shit this could be quite a difficult battle this could be this could well be the last in this campaign if it is I do hope you've enjoyed and I certainly enjoyed it anyway so you know that's the that's the main thing if you don't enjoy a campaign then you know it's not really worth it but I have been enjoying this campaign I've certainly been enjoying watching the other people participate uh, like Rex or so biscuits uh, spam Q gamers Watched of the leech, you know, you've all done fantastic in your in your campaign. Some of you have, some of you have, really shown me how great this game is again, and it's great to to see that you know, on YouTube again because this nobody really uploads Total War, uh, Rome Total War anymore. It's all it's all Rome Two and you know, Shogun Two and and update videos on on Attila Total War. So it's nice to actually see people enjoying this game again. Uh, I'm trying to think, is it worth me going to a Bruce formation? Um, are they getting slingers? I don't think they Oh, they've got Balearic slingers, oh shit. If I remember correctly, they are quite good. Maybe it is worth me doing that. I'm hoping the hill advantage will be useful. Uh, I'm trying to think. They're actually retreating, are they? Right, I don't want to move too far away from the main line, but. I'm going to let them form for a second. Right, they are coming towards me. In that case, we're going to move our cavalry. They have slingers, so I was told in episode 2 that the uh, Cantabrian circle is better used against slingers. So, they have slingers. It's best for me to use them. And I'm going to actually use them probably on the spearmen. Because I think they're going to cause me a lot of grief in this battle. Light infantry isn't going to be too much of a problem. I can charge them with my with my cav. This is going to be the first attack anyway. Get some shots on the levy spearmen, L uh, Libyan spearmen. Sorry. There we go. Get a couple of kills. Excellent. We've drawn them out now. And now I'm going to charge their cav. Oh shit! This is this is going to be awful. This is going to be awful. Oh, we take a few of them out. Good. Counter charge. Rally. Oh, he char oh my god, he got rid of him. Now Excellent. Attack! Dudes, you, you, you get back, guys. Bye, guys, get back. Yo, dudes. Actually, no. What are they? They slingers. No, my advice. Charge. Charge the slingers, you, you fools. Charge. Holy crap. Right, we, we fleed. We made the general flee. That's good. I'm stuck in an infantry fight, which I don't want to be in at the moment with the spearmen. So get out there, guys. Come on, get out. I look for generals so I don't get out. Shit. Fuck. Has lost his life. Let Shit. us hope this death has meaning. Damn it. These soldiers still have spirit. That's what I didn't want. Fortunately, they are routed, in, and my javelins are doing a relatively good job on their units. What they got left? Tell militia. Blairic slingers, right? Just charge the slingers because they're the slingers. Actually, no. Go back and. Oh shit! They're out of ammunition anyway. Yeah, um, come out of Cantabrian Circle and form up behind them in that case. My units continue to fire, fire on them. They, their generals ran off the field in the distance over here. Yeah, that's alright. I'm leaderless at the moment. I've lost Gizgo. What have we got? Sling us to the far end. Let's charge them. We are causing damage on our enemies. Attack those slingers. Attack the spearmen. I'm gonna go for a cavalry charge with all my cavalry on the slingers. Oh shit, don't charge us. Maybe you should charge the militia. I'm happy due to exhaustion. Fuck, what are you doing? Bloody idiots. <laughs> what are they doing? They just charged the town militia, you fools. Oh man. Oh, I got no. I got barely anything left to attack with the. Against the town militia. Oh, we victory. That's alright. Continue. <laughs> from the in Ignore me. Just continue. They're out in anyway. Charge. Charge. They're out in. Kill them all. Charge. Push. Pushka. 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 I'm gonna go for triple speed. Just chase them down. That'll do. Yeah. That'll do. Exit! Really good, no yes. Clear victory. Well uh, they only killed 35, that's not bad. I lost Gisco. I'm 
bloody annoyed with that. Oh, that was the one bad point in that battle, losing Kisco. Um, he was a drunk anyway, so it doesn't matter so much. And Carthage, of course, are coming out to attack me. <laughs> yeah, so another victory. We actually get getting some victories now in this campaign, which is good. Brow leader is dead, which is bad. End of turn is minus 205 denarii, which is bad. But we knew that anyway. We can actually attack Serta this turn. I might auto resolve this one actually, because I don't think we have anything in Serta. Let's see. Skirmishers, yeah. I'm just going to auto resolve Serta this one. So we'll attack. And we can't assault yet because we need to build. So we'll have to maintain siege. I'm hoping that they won't get, get there in time. I don't think they will. I can't use my spy apart from looking at the, the fog of war. And not much I can do really this turn. Carthage has some mercenaries in there. Oh fuck, they got war elephants. Oh, that'll be a battle. That will be a battle if we get to it. <laughs> the funniest part is that anybody could take Demedi at the moment and I, I'd be gone from the campaign. So I'm kind of leaving the door wide open. I should have a, a sign post here saying, hey, come here and attack me. <laughs> Anyway, let's end turn again. Not much I can do without any money anyway. Luckily, they can't quite... Oh, shit. Got further than I expected. Rebels haven't attacked me. We're still alive. Still alive. It's all good. We're still alive. Minus 268 to Denari again. Diplomatic info. Okay, we don't care about that. Now I can... I'm hoping that I can... Fight this without them reinforcing. I can't remember. Assault. We'll find out now. Yeah, we can do it without... Without that, so we're going to auto resolve this one. Clear victory, we lost. Um, didn't lose too many. 52. Uh, lost 20. Lost 20 yard men. And we've captured Sutta! So what do I do? Do I sack or do I keep? The thing is, I could enslave. Oh, it's not, it's barely any money. I'm still going to be in debt, that's the funniest part. Occupy settlement. See, it's only 505 denarii. It's not really worth it, is it? Um, enslave. Sirte is my old settlement, so... Do I really want to exterminate the people? I could enslave. Uh, I don't know. I might just massacre them. I'm going to massacre them. Bugger it. They bastards. No prisoners. Take no prisoners. So Serta is <laughs> is very small now. Um, I can't recruit bugger all, unfortunately, but we have some money at least, and I'm hoping that we'll be in some profit. But I'm going to jump straight out of the settlement and attack this army here. It's five units altogether. Um, we might just have enough. The problem is that every battle I win, I'm actually getting, getting more and more depleted, which means that it's like uh, what happened with that general, uh, Pyrrhus, Pyrrhus of Epirus. Um, what did he say? He said, if I win mo one more victory, we've... Oh, I can't remember what the quote was. It's something like, if we win one more... If I win one more victory, we fail, or something like that. Um, it, that's not a quote, but it, it basically meant, basically, the more he kept winning, the worse it was for him. <laughs> At the moment, that's what it's going to be like with this army here. This is basically all I have. This is my military capability. Two generals one mid unit of javelin, two units of depleted cavalry and two units of slingers so we are up against it but we can probably and hopefully we can win this one here so we're gonna jump straight out and have another battle here we go jump straight out attack auto resolve slightly in our favor 217 against 404 I don't trust the auto resolve because I'll have like 50 men left if I auto resolve this so I'm gonna fight here we go, another battle. I'm spoiling you with the battles in this in this uh, part, this episode. And who knows, we might end up getting to episode five. <laughs> oh, this campaign is so hard. Okay, we're gonna start deployment. I don't know what they have. Oh, we have a big hill here. This isn't, this isn't too good really because we're actually on the steep part of it. Uh, let's see. I could deploy down there. I'll just waste too much time. It's it's flatter here. I think we'll start on the flatter ground. They got. I gotta go to them, so I could probably circle around. Yeah, let's just get everything. I'm just gonna group up all my crap at the moment. Group two. Group three. Okay. Group one. Let's 
see where are they? I don't know where they are. Uh, probably over that hill, I assume. Let's just march forward with everything. It's like the worst formation ever. They're on top of the hill as expected. Um, I don't know what they have altogether, so I need to kind of get up there and see. And I'm fast forward this actually. Just wasting time. Of course, I got the mini map, but completely neglected the mini map then. Could have been looking at that all along. Let's zoom in, of course. Don't need to worry about that too much. I'm going to try and flank around with everything. As a matter of fact, let's just select everything and get it all in a line. But there. That makes more sense. As they get them into formation. Just thinking of the high ground at the moment. Oh, Christ, we're by the edge of the map right here. Didn't realise the edge of the map was this close, so well. Not quite as steep coming up this way, that's why I'm doing it. Oh shit, right, let's go back to normal. No, let's go back to normal place. We can now see what they have, I think. So they have lots and lots of uh, good troops, I think. Yeah, this is going to be quite a difficult uh, battle, this is. Let's just get them slowly into position. This thing is, I'll lag in behind, of course. I reckon we can just scrape a victory here, maybe? Or maybe not. This could be the last battle. I've been saying that for the past hour or so of this campaign, if you combine the two parts, so... Yeah. Could be, for all I know. I can fast forward a bit more get them into position for me. Soon see what they have. I can pick the best point to attack from then. Right, I'm looking at this now. They don't have cavalry, do they? That's good. In that case, I'm going to go forward first with my units of cal, I think. Don't want them in a locked group. Um, I'm trying to remember how to do this now. That button I want. Like that. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I learned something new. Excellent. Fast forward again. Taking my time with this. Not going to rush it too much. Just get them into position. The same with these guys. I want them in flat formation. I don't want them into any into anything else other than flat formation. I'll do. Okay, we're into position now. I think. Right. They don't have cavalry, that's good. I don't think they have slingers. They don't, do they? Shit, let's do it then. Attack! Go attack with the cavalry first. Don't need Cantabrian in circle if there's no slingers to worry about. I've learned that mistake in the past. Iberian infantry. And that's all they have is Iberian infantry, excellent. We've got opportunity in this battle. Can they throw things at me? Don't think they can. This is excellent. Right, this is good. You go, dudes. You shoot. You shoot, dudes. Look at these shields up, unfortunately. Are they taking hits? I don't think they're taking too many losses, are they? Bring the S1N up in that case. Bring the carve up in the rear as well. Well, they are taking some losses. 74, 77, 76. Oh, good. It's okay. They're all 80 men, 81 men, so it's going to take a while actually. And we're actually almost out of ammunition with us. That's rather unfortunate. Shit. Aim for the general. I'd rather kill the general. I think I'll help me out actually. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and take out the general. Oh shit, we're out of ammunition. That's okay. Get there. I'm gonna form on two flanks. Cavalry either flank. They aren't charging me yet, so we can just sneak past them at the moment, I think. Without any repercussions. My main. Well, I suppose it's not infantry. Oh shit, they're retreating. You bastards. Dude, where are you going? The aim is to take the general out first. 
that's my best chance in this battle. Maybe taking the auto resolve would have been better. <laughs> Look, in hindsight, maybe it would have been. Attack that main tree in the center. They can run out. They might charge forward, and it gives me a free charge, which it does right now. Let's go for the charge. Don't run. Uh, don't walk. Run. Right, opportunities, opportunities. Have you seen opportunities? Shit, dudes, what are you doing? Oh my god, you retards. Oh, you bloody retards, what are you doing charging into the infantry like that? Oh, fools. Oh my god, right. That's right, charge, that's what I wanted. I didn't want one charge, I wanted two horses there. It's not enough. Oh, we killed a few. Oh, we lost our cavalry. Bollocks. <laughs> Yeah, I told you this campaign was hard, didn't I? <laughs> Get my generals around. We are doing. We have done some damage to them, but no, nowhere near enough. I can't get to the general, that's the worst part. Charge. Flank around. This way. Cavalry on this way. Oh, don't get into them. Over here, please. Generals. No. <laughs> get out of there, you fools. No. Oh my god, we're going to lose the campaign this part. Shit. Get out, you mongs. Come on. Run. Run, you retards. Idiots. Oh my god, I need to see lost men then. Although, opportunity. Charge general. You get in there. You guys, charge there. Right, chance. Horn. Do it, generals, that way. Oh, you charged the wrong guy. That's right, go there. It's working. Excellent, it's working. Holy crap, it's working. Oh my god, it's working. Shit. I. I can't stop this. I can't stop. <laughs> Chase him down. I want him dead. Excellent. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Captain Basilic, you are dead. Kill him all. I want my cavalry to chase him down. This could still work. I'm pulling miracles out of my ass at the moment. I can't believe it. You can chase the Iberian infantry down. The more of them dead, the better for me. And you, you guys can charge the 35 that are remaining. Holy crap! <laughs> I, was gonna I thought I was going to lose that battle as well. That's the funniest part about this. Whoa, dude, Cavalry, what are you doing? Victory! That's okay. It worked. Control A. Charge. Kill them all. Fast forward. Oh my god, I keep winning. It's not good. The more I keep winning, the more I keep losing. <laughs> I'm gonna get caught out eventually. Dude, it's over there. Charge this guy. Will they catch him? Boom. They did. Excellent. Oh my god. <laughs> my third victory in a row. And it's not good because I've only got 161 remaining. Uh, I can't believe it. What's going on? If I keep winning, I'm gonna lose. It's not fair. Okay, so that, that uh, army's gone. Decorated hero. 20% discount on unit trading costs. That's good. Apart from the fact I can't afford to trade any of my units. I uh, train, sorry. Yeah, if I put this on high, you're just going to revolt, aren't you? Even on normal. Low is like the best I can do to, to not have another rebellion. I want to keep the settlement, so... Yeah, what do I do now? This is the, this is the hardest part, because this is my army even more depleted than earlier. I need to take Carthage. It would be great if I could just sneak in there when they went looking and take it and just hide behind the walls. That would be that would be ideal. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to march out so I'm just going to move. Onward. Oh fuck. Moves, Another Carthaginian army to try and take on. Oh shit. Three units. That's not too bad. But I, I have like 15 and 13. <laughs> I'm going to end turn because this, I think this could end in this part, so I'm going to end turn. 
as expected. They have attacked. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Auto resolve is saying that it's three to two. <laughs> I'm going to fight it again, of course. I'm not going to overlap into next next week's episode. If if it is an episode next week, I'm going to see if I can finish the campaign. I suppose not finish, but lose the campaign in this part. I think it's it's going to happen. Start deployment. Oh god. Can I get a fourth victory in a row? If I keep winning, I keep losing, like I say. Like I keep saying. Right. I'm just going to control A, put you up on, on the flank, and then start the battle. Only three units we're against. Right, what do we have? they got to come to me, of course, which is good. Get the cavalry up in front. You do, These dudes can all be grouped up. Group you guys, and you can form some sort of thing for me there. And you, you guys can get formed up as well. I'm going to take you guys though up the left, up the right flank. Bam, 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 bam. Fast forward a little bit while they get into position. Right, let's go normal speed. Right, what they have? They have slingers. Oh shit. Spearmen. Lots of spearmen. The slingers. I can charge slingers and get rid of them, but the rest is going to be taking the slingers out. They have slingers, so I'm going to go to Cantabrian Circle. I'm going to actually attack the slingers straight away. Meanwhile, two generals are going to go up this right flank for me. And I'm going to bring my infantry slash slingers forward. This will make it hard for the slingers to attack my cavalry. Fixes their eye on my cavalry while I get the rest of my men into position. Might get a few kills if we're lucky, like we have. Cause them havoc while the rest of my men can hit their spearmen. Right, perfect. Chance to take them out there. All the cavalry can distract. Do it! Get the out there, girl. get out of there now, you mongs. Come on, charge, charge the slingers, charge the slingers, charge the slingers, charge the slingers. That's right, charge the slingers. Excellent. Meanwhile, you lot can just keep throwing things at the spearmen down there. In the rear, maybe, perhaps? In the rear. Oh, that's good. In the rear. Keep hitting them in the rear. Right, the rest of you Cantabrian people can just keep attacking them. General's gone after the slingers. That's good. Meanwhile, down here, in the south. They're, they're overexposed. That's good. Just keep throwing things at them. Keep throwing things at them. Okay, that's good. We've routed the missiles. And we are pestering. Oh, shit. We're out of ammunition with the cavalry. Could go for a rear charge on the spearmen. That might work. Might not. Oh shit. Gonna have to charge, rear charge the slingers. Cavalry's gonna have to charge. No, I have nothing left. They're actually chasing off the slingers, which is okay, that takes that unit of spearmen out. Oh no, this is gut, this is bad. It had to be done. It had to be done. One of my generals on the way back as well. My other cavalry's not coming back, they're having too much fun chasing off the eight units of slingers. Eight men and slingers units that are remaining. Meanwhile, we are getting killed on the speed and they're unhappy over taking casualties. Oh shit, this is bad. This is where I get defeated, I think. Gonna have to go for a charge. Watch the epic charge. Boom! Oh, I lost all my men. Took quite a few out in the charge though, not too bad. A bit of rally might might help. They might actually Oh shit they are doing it as well. Don't give me false hope. Valhamun. Shit, we're giving give me false hope now guys. Pull him out. Pull these guys back. Oh my god, we won. Oh my god, we won. <laughs> How many victories in a row is that? Four? Four victories in a row. Shit. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm going to fast forward this, of course. And we killed him. Beware the mighty Numidians. Captain Mahabal. Uh, normal speed. This guy doesn't get to live, unfortunately, for him. Fast forward. Boom. Done. 
one man remaining. <laughs> How many did I lose? Not uh, 135 remaining from 161. Oh god, it's getting worse each battle. <laughs> I'm never gonna take Carthage with this force unless they sneak out and there's like one unit left in there. And even then, I gotta try to ninja the the capture and the capture point. So it's gonna be quite difficult, I think. End of turn, another end turn. How many turns have I had in this campaign, by the way? I need to look at how many turns I've survived for. Um, profits, holy crap, look at that, 4,391. Well, that's from, of course, all the sacking. I think we are in profit now, so we have barely any upkeep for all the units that we have left, so that's probably why. Um, that's good, so if we can keep Surta and um, Demidi, and who knows, maybe we can even take Carthage, which... If they keep sending these small stacks towards me, it could actually be done, but... I need to really have money to recruit. Those elephants are going to cause me a shit, shitload of trouble. So I can't see me taking Carthage. But what options do I have in this, in this campaign with New Media? Do I just go for the rebel settlements because they don't produce nothing? They don't really have much income. I could have gone for Spain, but that should have been something I decided on earlier in the campaign. Maybe I should have developed the port and got some ships and sent them all, all the way around Iberia and up into the United Kingdom, maybe that would have been more beneficial. <laughs> Who knows, it, it's all ifs and buts, but we are still in, alive in this campaign and we are going on to next week and episode 5. I'm going to finish this episode here. Thank you everyone who has watched this campaign and supported this campaign. Definitely check out all the other people that are participating as well, links to their channels will be in the description. I've been Dragonheart, thank you for watching, goodbye.